Soft, bouncy yam cakes filled with the umami flavor of dried shrimps, Chinese sausages, and mushrooms. Yam cakes are one of the most popular Chinese dishes with multiple ways of making and eating them. Whether you prefer to steam or fry them, with or without sauce, they taste equally wonderful. Not to mention, they look so stunning, they're sure to impress everyone. Today, I have a special guest, my mum, who will be showcasing this recipe with me, narrating the process. Let's get right into it. Let's begin with the fresh ingredients. First, we have 500 grams of yam, which is good for 6 people. Pick yams that feel less dense as they are more suitable for cooking and taste better. We also have two Chinese sausages which are essential to flavoured yam cake. About 150 grams of shallots and 50 grams of dried mushrooms soaked for at least one hour. 50 grams of dried shrimps for the umami flavour soaked for at least 30 minutes. Prepare the Chinese sausage by first chopping off the ends and removing the wrapping around it. The wrapping is very tough and will ruin the texture of the yam cake if not removed. Slice up the sausages thinly and then dice them into smaller pieces to be added into the yam cake later. Prepare the dried shrimp by draining out the soaking water, then chopping up the dried shrimps into very tiny bits to be added to the yam cake later on. Repeat the same for the dried mushrooms. Squeeze up the soaking liquids from within the mushrooms and keep the soaking liquids. Remove the mushroom stalks and dice them up finely just like the other ingredients. Repeat the same for the yam, green onions and red chilies. The green onions and red chilies are gonna be used for garnish. Next, the ingredients used to make the cake part. We have three types of flour used. 280 grams of rice flour and 57 grams of tapioca flour as the base with an additional 10 grams of wheat starch to make the texture of the cake more bouncy. Mix all the flours together in a large bowl or pot. Add the soaking liquids collected earlier and additional water mixing as you pour. The total amount of water added is around 1 litre. Mix everything well until the flour completely dissolves into the water and we are ready for cooking. Heat up some vegetable oil in a large wok to fry the shallots. It's alright to add more oil as we will use the remaining to fry ingredients later on. We will be making crispy fried shallots and the shallot oil first. Add in the shallots before the temperature gets too hot and start frying at high heat. As the colour of the shallots turn translucent, lower the heat to medium. And when it first starts to get brown, Turn the heat to low and fry until golden. This will prevent charring while making the shallots as crispy as possible. Once done, scoop up most of the shallots and oil and keep for later use and leave a little behind for extra flavour. Turn the heat back on and add in the yam cubes. Fry them using the shallot oil until it's slightly browned. This is to soften the yam and make them more flavorful. When frying the yam, add about 2 teaspoons of 5 spice powder for seasoning. After about 3 minutes, remove the yam and set aside for later use. Get the heat back up and use the shallot oil to fry the diced dried mushrooms. Stir fry at high heat for about 30 seconds and add in the Chinese sausage. This time round, don't add in any oil and let the fats within the Chinese sausage render out to make the yam cake more flavorful. After about 1 minute of frying, push the two ingredients aside and add in the chopped dried shrimps. Fry them at high heat for about 30 seconds to remove water and mix them up. You can also add in some fried shallots for extra flavor. After that, we start seasoning the mixture. Add about 15 grams of chicken stock powder and 2.5 teaspoons of salt to make the mixture more flavorful. A generous dash of white pepper adjusted to your personal preference. 
Bear in mind while seasoning that there is still the cake part that hasn't been added into the mixture yet. One and a half tablespoon of soy sauce and about one tablespoon of oyster sauce for umami flavor. After seasoning, it's time to add the flour mixture. Give it a mix again before adding into the wok. Pour it into the wok and mix all the ingredients well. Do not worry if the mixture looks very watery at first. If you added too much water, you can just allow it to heat up longer and evaporate away. Add the prepared yam cubes into the wok and stir evenly. Let the water evaporate until the mixture becomes very sticky and thick. As a benchmark, your spatula should be able to stand up upright without falling down when it's ready. Oil the base of a baking tray and scoop the mixture into the baking tray. Flatten out the mixture inside the baking tray and try to prevent any air gaps from forming. Once done, add a little bit of the prepared fried shallots evenly on top of the yam cake. In the meantime, you can also heat up some water inside the wok and prepare for steaming. Only add the baking tray when the water has started to boil and keep the fire at high throughout the steam. The steaming will require about 40 minutes to 1 hour depending on the size of your yam cake. You will also most likely need to refill the water used for steaming so do prepare some boiled water in the kettle beforehand. After the steaming, you can test whether your yam cake is ready by piercing it with a skewer. The skewer should not have any bits sticking on it when pulled out once it's ready. Remove the tray and let it cool before cutting it up to your preferred size. If you prefer the pan fried version like me, you can take up the cut pieces and fry it. It will only take about 1 minute per side, so this will be really quick. Garnish the yam cakes with spring onions and red chilies, along with fried shallots for extra flavour. You can pair them with either sweet sauce or Thai sweet chilli as a dipping sauce or have just the plain yam cake on its own since it's already very flavorful. Mmm, what a traditional tasting yam cake! You can have this for breakfast, lunch or dinner. Try it out today! We have come to the end of today's episode. If you liked our yam cake recipe, consider subscribing to our channel for other yummy recipes. Look through our channel to find your favourite dishes and learn how to cook them. And I'll see you in my next video.